God damn it, it's shipping time for now. Okay, if I could buy three and a half biscuits for 53 bucks, right, or 55 bucks or something, I'm going to say, well, it's probably going to be about, I don't know, $15 a biscuit, something like that. And in this case, it's 15.4. Now, again, we've already established that it's negative, therefore the assumption is no good, therefore it's going to be compression. And 15.4. Uh, I think I've got a rounding error because I'm pretty sure the answer that we just looked at was 15. But at this point, I'm getting tired, so um, you know, I've been standing for a bit. Uh, there's a lot of stuff before I even start recording, but nobody cares about that. Well, I know I'm going to get this done, and there's not, the audio is not going to be there. So. Okay. Last question. I'm excited about that. Okay, determine the forces in BC and BD. BC is straight down, zero force. All right, how can I tell that? Is, um, I haven't done this one in a long time. Let's make it a bit bigger before I get started. BC and BD. Well, like I said, straight away, straight away can tell that that's a zero force member. So what do we got left? Well, we're going to have to solve the reactions. I haven't done some reactions in a while, so that'd be exciting. Uh, it doesn't matter which side we start with. Um, unfortunately, there are some people who would be able to say, well. By inspection, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be slightly bigger on this side because it's taking more load, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, yeah, okay, we're just going to do it by, by the maths. Okay, so we're going to take moments about A to find G. So, sum of the moments about A equals zero. Zero equals, well, we've only got four forces, that makes it pretty easy. We've got A, A time, uh, reaction A times zero. I try and all. Right? And then we've got 2.5. Is that going clockwise? It is going clockwise. And its distance is 5. The next one is 3.5 plus 3.5 brackets. 5 plus 6 is 11. And then finally we have RG. RG. Uh, is 16. I'm not going to do the maths for that one. Okay. So, this is times by zero, so we've got 2.5 times 5 equals 12.5 plus 38.5 minus 16 RG. If I bring that over here, it's going to be 16 RG equals 51. If I could buy 16 ricks for 50 bucks, equals 3, I should have done a better estimate, but that seems right. Um, 3 point, I'll write it to a little more accuracy, 1.19. Okay. And that's kilonewtons up. So I found this one, 3.19. Now I said that this is going to be slightly bigger on this side because there's slightly more weight on that side. So how much weight is going down? Well, using some of the forces vertically, I have 2.5 down, another 3.5 down, and then going up here, I have 3.19 and some unknown amount. So let's have a look. 
Uh, that's six, six minus two point eight one three is the unknown amount. You know, I'm just going to leave it as that. So I'm going to say R A equals that. Now, there's better ways that you like. You can write that more mathematically, but for me, I just find writing that diagram just so much easier to conceptualize. I'm much less likely to get that wrong. So I found R A, or as I like to say, Ra. Um, but now that I've found Ra, let's have a look at how we're going to solve. Uh, we've found both sides. I, if I was a little bit smarter, I would have just found Ra first, or just found Rg first. It doesn't really matter, but that's the way I've approached it. Um, so, when we want to cut, BD is where we want to cut. And again, I can take the left or the right hand side. And I guess I've gone to the effort of finding RA. I didn't need to find RA. I could have just done um, this, this side. I guess I'll show you that. I'll prove to you that I could have done without that side. So I'm going to draw the diagram. It's a little bit more work, but we're talking about one additional factor in the equation. So that's my, my diagram. And I've got 3.19 and 3.5. That's the additional work that I have to do. Not a huge amount. Okay, so I've got BE, I've got BD, and C, CD. I am trying to find BD. BD is my target. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm not going to write the unknowns again. Um, so, let's have a look. I've got BD. BD well, let's start here. BE and CD, they will never, ever, ever meet, right? They're parallel lines, so they're just going to go forever without meeting. So the meetup method is not going to work for two parallel lines. So then the next option is the lone wolf. And we can say, well, BD, what can you do that no one else can do? And what BD can do is BD can take vertical force, right? So how much vertical force is required? Well, I have 3.5 and I have 1.9, 3.5 is better that I did it this way, it's more interesting. Um, the difference is, there is an amount, 0 0.31 kilonewtons, that is unresolved, right? That there's additional 3.1 down, which means that I'm going to need BD to meet that slack. I'm saying, hey BD, you're the only one who can do this, can you come in and save the day for me? And BD says, yeah, sure. But I just want you to know, I've got to take more than the, than the, the 0.31, right? Because although I'm taking 0.31 for you, I've also got to take, I'm still going to the left, you know, I've got to do that as well. So, how much left? Well, he says, well, I'm a 45 degree angle. So if I've got to go 31 degrees to the left, oh, sorry, 31, 0.031 to the, 0.31, ah, I also have to go 0.3 to the left. It's like, okay, well, how much is that total? And now, it's not 6 because of the nature of these things. This we've said is 70.7%. .7%. So I'm going to divide that by 0.707, and that's going to give me 0.438 kilonewtons. Now, that's BD. The question is, is it in tension or compression? Well. We drew this diagram and we drew everything in tension. And this here is said go up. And it is up. So that means that what we drew originally, our assumed forces, is correct. So we can then say it's in tension. Okay, that's all seven of uh, those questions. And uh, that ought to tide you over for a while. I did say I'd give you a bending question. Could you give him a call back and just let him know? Yeah, that'll do.